This video is on Iron Gate, dealing with the provocation of a thrust followed by some sort of cut, high, low, inside, outside. So it's going to be very similar to the previous video, Ching Yali, uh, the sole difference being that we're starting with our right foot and not left foot. And we are going back to doing this pressing, this gathering step to see what they do. In this case, they will attack us. So in five out of six cases, we're doing the exact same initial defense and then we'll modify depending on what comes in. So, first one we're dealing with is any attack to the high line. So, Madrito, Riverso, Pendente. And this is look very similar to what we looked at in the previous video. So we're going to press, and make this defense. As they come back with whatever that is, we're gonna step back, throwing a horizontal Madrito, so a tondo to the arm or arms, and I'm going to step back with a spokata, bring us back to Iron Gate. So this is working very well, so I'm basically waiting for that, so I'll make my contact as they come back in, we'll take it, yield, and strike to the arms. If the arms are available, I'll strike the sword, and I'll continue forward, doing whatever I need to do. Second up, if I am dealing with a thrust followed by a cut to the leg, if I'm aware this is happening, if I see they're clearly going low, so it's not as obvious, or it's everything is very obvious to me. So we uh, press in, make the contact. As they go to the leg, we're gonna step back, strike the heart, strike their arm, because I need to separate their hands to a certain extent as they're going low. Striking the hand, then we're going to, again, back to Iron Gate with the Stokata. The third one is going to have a little bit of a difference in that when we're dealing with the thrust, we're going to step back to Chingiale and then we're going to jump right back in. So we're here, press, they're going to attack with a thrust, we're going to step back to Chingiale, so our left hand is quite high, covering the head. And now as they come in with, in this case, a mandrito or fendente, we are going to beat. So we're using that false alarm here. Strike the thigh with a reverse. So I'm just shift over here a little bit. So we're here, beat, beat, strike, and thrust as we leave. Four, we're going back to the normal defense, which is just this false alarm for the start. Here we're dealing with another mandrito to the leg. So this is where we're um, not as aware, or maybe they're being a bit more crafty, a bit more intelligent about how they're attacking us. So we can't really tell until it's actually happening. So we're going to make this defense as that mandrito comes in. He suggests stepping into it. I would suggest stepping around it. I'll show both. So we press, make the defense. Now as they go low, he's gonna suggest doing this and striking low. That's gonna be very cramped, pretty tight, and really opens us up, opens us up to Joko Stretto. If that's my goal, then that's great. I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, but we want to live, keep this at, at sword length. I could do the exact same defense, just stepping out to their inside. So just like we do in the sword in one hand of Dalagoki, where we are stepping in this way and continuing to go to the inside. That'll be my take on that. Uh, now five and six are against a reverso, so same defense to start. As the universo comes in, we're going to do our basic defenses we do from sword in one hand. Meaning that we're going to use true edge against the high, or the true edge against the low, change directions, and strike with the imbrocata. So, once again, press, make contact as they come around with the high universo, defend, and stretch the face, and then 
can get out. If it's there, it's a reverse with the leg, so that's low. As you make that contact, and once again, strike to the chest or face. So those are the six plays we can do from Iron Gate using the sword and boat buckler. Uh, the next video is going to be a bit of a collection of things that he had forgotten to mention <laughs> earlier uh, in the Kodalunga section. So we're going to look at a brief um, sequence of actions.